I don't have to do it. I do it because I want to do it. <laughs> and that makes a big difference, I think. One of the things I told myself when I started doing this as a real job was that I was always going to enjoy it. When it stopped being fun, I would stop doing it as a job because I didn't want to lose my love of the craft. And I have done that by constantly inventing new things and trying new things, and uh, I've never gotten tired yet. We're really designed to use our hands and our culture is becoming more and more away from that. And so a lot of people look for places where they can use their hands and it's natural. And then some of us like it so much that we have to make a whole life of it. year-round is just a lovely relaxed lifestyle the, it goes well with the alpacas which is what we were looking for in raising them it's just a peaceful and quiet life it's relaxing it's something that I can do all day long and often do all day long for demonstrations that um, is not tiring it, it's something that connects me to uh, my past. My great great grand or my great grandmother was a spinner. I have her wheel. You have to do it for the love of what you're doing. It comes true in in the piece that you're creating. It shows, and other people will want to buy that energy and that vibrancy that you've put into it and that love and that passion that you put into it. it gives you a lot of validation in what you're doing. It is a great joy to be able to create what you want to create. Where else can you get this kind of deep, really deep satisfaction out of being alive? I mean, wow, they want another piece of what I do? Every piece of wood is different. Every piece has its own little characteristics. That if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. 